everybody, I'm so happy to meet you again with another new episode. So, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good too. And parents, welcome again. How are you all doing? I'm sure you're doing a great job. And mothers, you are incredible for all that you are doing. So, let's start a program. And Sylvester is on his way. So let's wait for him any time he will be here. Oh, there goes the bell. I think he's already here. Let me just go, go open the door for him. Oh, 
not an intelligent I am, I am, I am still joking with you. <laughs> no secrets. Yes, that's right. So no secrets. And what's the next line? God knows everything. Yes, so no secret. God knows everything. No secrets. God knows everything. Are you ready for some singing? I can't wait to dance and praise God with all my energy and all my strength. Are you ready? Let's join in and worship the Lord together. Good work. 
works that he planned for me Long before my Eagles, masters in the sky, our eyesight is so good that we can spot tiny prey even three and a half kilometers away. We have such good eyesight that you humans use the term eagle eye for those with a sharp eyesight. We are really cool gliding effortlessly across the sky. Hello there folks, my name is Sherlock and I'm an eagle. I don't miss a thing even when I'm flying high above in the skies. Some of my cousins have eyes bigger than their brains. <laughs> it's a good thing, you know why? Because they have super eyesight. And like I said before, we don't miss a thing. Talking about bird's eye view, God sees everything too. Only he can literally see everything you do in the open or hidden. There can be no secrets with him. King David says in Psalm 139, Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? God is everywhere and he sees everything. You may think nobody is watching you when you are alone or when you are up to some mischief secretly or seeing stuff on the internet that you are not supposed to or even secret chats with friends or others. You may think it's cool but doing things secretly can lead to dangerous consequences and punishment and makes Jesus sad. But don't worry, God the Holy Spirit always gives us a heads up on what to do when temptations are around the corner. We only need to heed to his warning. Jesus loves us and he forgives us when we repent and ask for forgiveness. In the Bible, Ecclesiastes 12.14 says, For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden deed, whether it is good or evil. You can never think that you will get away from things done in secret. God is watching over you. He loves it when, when his children do good. He brings praise to his name. Everything we do will be judged by God. He is a God of justice. Remember, no secrets. God knows everything. I'm so happy to be back again with another fun experiment. Are you ready to watch it? I'm sure you do. Okay, let's think this is our life. I have an airtight cover with water in it. So this is our life. And today we are learning no secret. God knows everything. So let's see what happens when we do things secretly. Let's imagine this is the secrets that we do, these pencils. Now, when, when we, uh, let's take examples, like when we watch things that are not supposed to be watched on phones, let's think that's one of the secrets. Or maybe copying an exam. And now let's see what happens when I try poking this inside, okay? What do you think? Is it going to break? Let's just watch that. One, two, three, go! didn't break and we thought we've escaped you know we thought nothing happened no one watched me and now you continue to go on doing the wrong things 
Let's think this is another secret. Maybe texting some wrong messages to friends or getting into wrong chat rooms or um, secretly doing anything. Let's think we're doing another secret. One, two, three, go! Water still is not falling. But now there's someone who's watching you. Probably you would have escaped from your parents. You would have escaped from your teachers or your friends. But there's God who's watching you. Let's see what happens when God reveals those things. You know, there's nothing that you can cover up with God. No sins can be hidden. And he will bring it to light one day. And that's the scariest part. And let's see what happens when I try removing this. You see, the water starts falling. Can you see this? Yes. So we think, oh, I have covered up. No one watched me. I'm very smart. I'm really good at it. But this is what is happening to our life. We are losing our life. Remember, we are at, at a great loss. So, we never do things in secret. Can you see the water is just spilling out and, and our life is destroyed. But the good news is, when you confess your sins to God, when you say, Jesus, I'm sorry, please forgive me, wash away all my hidden sins. You know, Jesus forgives you because he still loves you. He never destroys you when you come back to him. So when, whatever hidden sins that you've done so far, get back to Jesus and Jesus will definitely forgive your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So always remember this, uh, uh, this experiment and try it out at home as a remembrance to know that all the hidden sins will have consequences. And remember the Bible point, no secrets. God knows everything. Hey friends, we are learning this week that no secrets, God knows everything. Yes, God knows every bit about us in and out. Today's story is from John chapter 1 verses 43 to 51. Right? It's a very small story that comes in the Bible, but it has profound meaning. It has a lot of meaning. Okay, so let's listen to the story. Are you ready? Okay. The next day, Jesus decided to leave for Galilee. Finding Philip, he said to him, Follow me. Philip, like Andrew and Peter, was from the town of Bethsaida. Philip found Nathaniel and told him, we have found the one Moses wrote about in the law and about whom the prophets also wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nazareth? Can anything good come from there? Nathaniel asked. Come and see, Philip said. When Jesus saw Nathaniel approaching, he said to him, here is a true Israelite in whom there is nothing false. How did you know me? Nathaniel asked. Jesus answered, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. Then Nathaniel declared, Rabbi, you are the son of God. Now, why did God, Jesus, Say, Nathaniel, I saw you under the fig tree. And why did Jesus say, here's a righteous man in whom there is nothing wrong. Why did, after hearing what Jesus said, Nathaniel immediately responded, Rabbi, teacher, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. What prompted Nathaniel to make that statement after telling Philip that can anything good come from Nazareth? Isn't that interesting? Well, here's what actually happened. Remember the point when I said God, no secrets from no secrets with God. 
Well, that's exactly what happened here. Nathaniel thought that he was right. Nathaniel thought he knew everything. Right? Nathaniel thought that he couldn't be wrong in thinking that nothing good comes from Nazareth. Now, Nathaniel is thinking all of this while he's walking with Philip to meet Jesus. But when Jesus met him, he said exactly what Nathaniel had in his heart, exactly what Nathaniel was thinking, that he was right. And when Nathaniel understood that Jesus said what was in his heart, it made him realize that he is really God. Jesus is really God. The Son of God, the King of Israel. And that's when he, he proclaimed, Rabbi, teacher, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. So what this small story helps us understand is God knows the heart. God knows what we are thinking even before we say a word. So there is actually no hiding from Him. There are no secrets that we can keep from God. That's why David beautifully writes in Psalm 139, Where can I go from your love? Where can I hide from your spirit? You're always with me. Even darkness is like light for you, God. If I run to the mountains, if I dive into the depths of the oceans, you are there. God is everywhere. And there are no secrets with Him. There are no, there's no hiding from Him. So here's the challenge for this week. Let's not try keeping secrets with God. And let's not do things thinking that nobody is watching us. But that's wrong because God is always watching us. So next time you do something thinking that I can keep this a secret, maybe telling lies, maybe chatting secretly with your friends in the night when everybody is slept or using your phone during the using your phone thinking that nobody is watching. God is watching. God is watching. That's why today's memory verse from Ecclesiastes reminds us that everything will be brought before God for judgment. What is done in secret, what is in open, what is right and what is evil. Everything will be brought in before God for judgment and He will judge. Let's, friends, let's not fall into the judging hands of God on the wrong side. Right? So if you have any unconfessed wrong thing that you did, confess it to Jesus and He will forgive us. Dear boys and girls and parents, once again, thank you so much for joining us to pray together. And remember, every single prayer that we offer, God is hearing and He will answer our prayers. Today, we're especially going to pray for children who are addicted to secret sins. You know, there are some children who are addicted to chat rooms and sharing unnecessary pictures and uh, which, uh, which affects them and also affects the people who are involved. And, and there are children who cry and who want their phone to sit in their phones for hours together to play video games, to play games that are really not safe for them to play. And also, let's pray for the protection of children that they wouldn't get addicted to such uh, unnecessary sites on the internet and for the safety of every little child watching this. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we want to thank you so much for teaching us today that there is no secret that is hidden from you and you know everything. Lord, we pray especially for children who are addicted to these secret sins, especially for children who are into chat rooms that is unnecessary, chat rooms that can spoil them and the others. Lord, children who are sharing dirty pictures. Lord, we pray that you would deliver such children, O oh God, from this sin. Lord, and we also pray for children who are addicted to pornography. We pray that, Lord, you would, you would, you would, 
protect them and deliver them from such sin. Lord, pray that you would remove such addictions in them in Jesus' name. Lord, there is nothing too difficult for you. You have to ask anything in my name and I will give it to you. And there is power in the name of Jesus. So in the name of Jesus, we pray that you would deliver such children who are addicted to these secret sins, O oh Father. And also we pray for your protection over every child watching this program. Let your hands of uh, protection protect them from these kind of sins, O oh Father. And also we pray for everyone who is going through the same struggle, all the adults and everyone watching this program who are addicted to secret sins. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you would deliver them. Lord, we pray for people who are addicted to texting wrong messages at wrong times and uh, who are involved in uh, un unnecessary things in their life which is not pleasing you. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would set them free, O oh God, and there is there is freedom in your name. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that everyone will be set free from these dirty sins. Thank you so much for hearing us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hi, Esther. Hello. Did you have fun today? Oh, yes, I did have fun. And you, we have a friend today, right? Yeah, that will go interesting, right? All right. It is so nice to have you, Rocky. What did we learn today? Alright! Oh, and the lifetime Bible point for today! No secrets! God knows everything! And what is the Bible verse we learned today? Okay. So today's Bible verse, I know! Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 14 So God will bring everything to judgment Things done in secret and good or evil. Isn't that amazing? Wow, you remember it, Rocky? You are very smart. And whose story did we hear today? Oh, oh, I know, I know the story. We spoke about Nathaniel. Nathaniel thought that he knows everything and that he is right. But when he understood that Jesus saw his heart, he realized that Jesus is indeed Son of God, King of Israel. Wow! God knows everything! Wow! Do you remember it, Rocky? You are very smart. Alright, so we had fun with y'all. I'm sure y'all had fun with episode 4. See y'all next week. Have a blessed week. Remember, no secrets! God knows everything! Alright friends, we've got some good response for the quiz. So look out for this week's quiz as well. The link for the quiz is in the description bar. Click on the link, answer those questions and you could win some amazing prizes. God bless you.